Yes, I did. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. And how the hell are you today? <laughs> okay, so, ladies and gentlemen, updates, 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 updates. Yesterday, I uh, had a rather unfortunate event in involving some slightly odd sexual fetishes of mine, which of which I need to go get a coffee. I'll talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> the revelation of which caused Peabody quite some distress because he is of the opinion that I shouldn't share that part. That, that, and I understand, but I mean, I'll, I'll go through this right now. Um, and you can find this on my autism or, or, or whatnot, but... Yeah, and let me just cut you up. My standpoint is, you know, there's a home face and there's the professional stream face and the two should never meet. And well, he just blew that all the hell out of the fucking water. So he's been doing it for years to me. So I've give up on that professional side of it all. Well, I mean, people know that I'm a, a transvestite. I I feel very uh, uncomfortable in my skin as a male. Uh, I do wish that I had been born as a female. I would feel far more comfortable if I was. And the reason I haven't transitioned is because. Just so many difficulties. Now, with the way I was born with my split lip, um, cleft lip and palate, I've had 20 operations. Someone, some very kind doctor person, took my hip bone out and put it in my mouth. I've had a lot of stuff messed around with in my body. And I just, even though I don't feel comfortable as I am, I, I, I do whatever I can to make myself comfortable and try and accept myself, right? So uh, that revelation was out on stream about a year ago. Now, I also have a bondage fetish, which is quite difficult because tying yourself up, whatever you do, sexual gratification or, or just for fun, it's dangerous, naturally, inherently, because anyone can tie themselves up, uh, it's just doing it safely is difficult. Doing it without cutting off circulation, doing it so that it doesn't damage you is a challenge. Uh, and yesterday I had an event where I, I was absolutely foolish um, and I tied myself up without uh, proper precautions and I ended up getting stuck. I lost circulation in my arms, couldn't move my hands at all. Uh, eventually managed to get myself out I uh, ended up feeling very lightheaded, uh, feeling sick. It was not a good event at all. And so that's why I didn't stream yesterday. I was going to once I recovered, but then I lost my glasses lens. Yeah, where was the lens? <laughs> it was underneath a boxing glove on my floor, right? <laughs> um, I said, look at your shoe. <laughs> yeah, I know. not have a boxing glove on their floor. I mean, just the normal, Ian, right? you would not believe the stuff I have on my floor. <laughs> Yeah, I don't really want to know, honestly. No, no, trust me, we don't want to know. Really, we don't want to know. <laughs> and so, yeah, I'm pretty what, sure what, it's I, before nine what I wanted to cover today was why I want to be open about this kind of thing. Because my life has been fraught with various limitations and various things that make me odd or different. Uh, you know, we. we Anyone with glasses would get called four eyes at school or whatever. Um, oh, and no. I, I got bullied to the sound, standard extent. But I never was confident enough to tell anyone about how I was feeling uh, in regards to myself, uh, how uncomfortable I felt in my own skin, uh, my sexual identity, my fetishes that were bothering me and damaging me, leaving physical marks on my body because I couldn't control these urges that I had. And there were times where I ended up in the hospital as a result of this, these, these really troublesome times. And I know that issues like these that are, that make people naturally feel self-conscious about who they are, they, they feel like they have to hide it for the sake of other people and for the sake of being judged. And, and I went through that. You know, for 10 years or however long I struggled with this. And it was absolutely horrible. It was genuinely awful. Some of the worst times of my life were those periods where I was trying to hide myself 
and who I was and how I felt. And and not even for the sake of me. I mean, I was scared for myself and how people would react. But I realised that at some point I was hiding it because of other people. You know, and it genuinely made me feel better to be honest with myself about who I was. And I think that my honesty now about this and, you know, my willingness to accept questions and... and, and express myself properly is a reaction to having gone through that tough time because if if i can be an example if i can encourage anyone to genuinely express themselves and to be honest with who they are and and you know not go through the pain and 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 trials that i did with with the limitations that i had not understanding anything then I, I think that's absolutely worth the, the honesty. As, and what I said to people, you know, is all, all like, oh, you shouldn't say this, blah, 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 and that. And, and I'm like, I'm, I'm not going to go around shouting at every stream like, oh, I'm a transvestite and I have a bondage fetish. Look at me. Aren't I special? you got to respect my viewpoint. No, it, it, it's just a part of me that I don't want swept under the rug. You know, it's a part of me, like my autism, like my dystonia, that I feel like completes the amalgamation of things and oddities that make up me. And I think it's it's important to be genuine with every part of who you are, whether you're proud of it or, you, or you're ashamed of it. And I, I spent so many bloody years being ashamed of who I was hiding. And it's unhealthy. You hide behind a mask of who society says you should be for so many bloody years. And it won't get you anywhere. And there's nothing wrong with being honest. Nothing at all. And I have so many blessings. I have parents who accept me and my limitations and, and my urges. Um, and there's so many people who are, who are not blessed to have that. So... That is why I am honest. That is why I say things that are a bit odd. That is why I'm more unique than other streamers in the way that... Boy, that's a mouthful. Yeah. One thing, though, Stephen, I'll tell you, I think I'm going to I'm gonna make a new command. It's going to be just simply, you, you trigger it, it's going to be the word honest. And when it goes off, it's going to set an alarm <laughs> off on my side here. Ah, ah, Steve's about to be honest there. Oh, God. Put the filters on. Yes, indeed. And to be honest, people who said to me earlier, a comment that, that was quite hurtful to me, actually. Well, I'm um, sorry, but I didn't no, no, I no, explain it's... myself on it. Yeah, I know. I know. Um... I'm not blaming you for that. I'm just, I'm just saying that it was hurtful. Um, uh, yeah, he said, uh, I'm not worried now about uh, getting famous because you'll never be big on YouTube either. And you know, obviously, oh, no, I probably just, uh, I put it YouTube. Prob uh, well, you said you'll never be big. Probably yeah. could have worded it better. Whatever. But I mean, your point from that, Peabody, was that. You know, my honesty would get me into trouble. It would get me judged. And, and, and you know, I think you're absolutely right. I think there are some... Public opinion. People, and I yeah. cuss it, like I said, you in the background. Sorry, I feel like I need to defend myself here. <laughs> I'm not accusing you. I'm just stating what happened, you know? Um, okay. And, yeah, it, it... I absolutely agree with you. I think there are some people out there who will not accept, um, will find it too weird and be too judgmental and, and, and too this, that, and whatever. And that's fine. You know, if they're not in a place, where, if, if they're at a point where they're too narrow-minded to accept that people have differences in their appetites of, of all walks of life, then, you know, that's fine. That's, that's not something that's gonna bother me in the long run. Um, but it, it's not something that has to bother them. It's, it's just a part of who I am. If you don't like that, it's the same as anything else. You don't like something I'm doing, don't watch. Fine. You don't have to stick your nose in and say, Oh, this is unacceptable. Blah, blah, blah. Like, no. <laughs> Sorry, fine, sir. Piss off. 
You see AFK? I oh, know it's not 